Hi and welcome to a new video. Do you want to capture your PowerPoint slides, integrate your own audio narration to the presentation, and then save the whole package as a video file that you can share or play at any time? In this video, I will show you two different methods you can use to record your PowerPoint presentation as a video and include your audio inputs. Let's go! Fortunately, PowerPoint has its own built-in recording capability. To use it, open your PowerPoint file and navigate to the Record tab. Click the Record button on the submenu bar and choose From Beginning to start the recording from the first slide. When the record screen appears, activate the Microphone button in the lower right corner to capture your audio input. By default, your computer's built-in microphone utility will be used. But if you have another source connected, click the Settings above and manually set your alternate audio input. Once your microphone is set up, click the Record button in the upper left corner to begin recording your slides. Use the down arrow key to navigate to the end or to the page of your slides that you want to record. During recording, you can use the available features such as Notes, which acts as a teleprompter when you need it. If you want to emphasize certain areas of your presentation and make necessary doodles, you can also use the pencil tool and even customize its font color. When you're finished recording, click the stop button and close the record screen. Next, click the export to video button on the record tab to save your slides and narration to a single video file. Before saving, you can adjust the video quality of the output. The highest available is 4K, but this only works on large monitors and the output may be incomplete when rendered. For computers and high-definition displays, the best option is the Full HD with 1080 pixel quality. In the next drop-down, make sure it is set to Use Recorded Timings and Narrations to merge all inputs from your recording. You can also click the up or down buttons to adjust the duration spent on each slide. Once everything is ready, click Create Video, choose your preferred destination folder, and wait for the video to finish rendering. For those who need more features while recording screens, I recommend Movavi Video Suite, an all-in-one software that combines several features including video editing, conversion, compression, recording, and more. This is available for both Windows and Mac. To download Video Suite for free, click on the tag in the upper right corner or find the link below for your reference. If you want to change the website language, click the Globe button in the upper right corner and choose one. Although Movavi Video Suite is generally a paid software, there is a 7-day free trial version so you can get a feel of how it works before paying for anything. After downloading, run the executable file and follow the on-screen instructions to install the software on your computer. Once installed, launch the Record Computer Screen sub-program to start recording. The Movavi Screen Recorder's control panel appears as a pop-up sidebar menu on the right side of your window screen. It is also added to your system tray for easy access. For first-time setup, click the Settings icon in the control panel to modify the recording configurations to your liking. Under the General tab, click each checkbox to enable the configuration described by its label, such as disabling the default countdown or hiding the recording panel. Set your preferred destination folder when saving your recording in the Files menu. Go to the Video tab if you want to adjust your output's frame rate. To show cursor and keystroke activity in your recording, you can enable it in the FX tab. You can also limit your recording duration and set a specific time range in the Scheduler configuration. Finally, click the OK button to save your changes. Once everything is set, click the Video Camera button to launch the recording screen. Then, drag the cursor to resize and capture a specific frame of your window screen, or click the spacebar on your keyboard to record the entire screen. After setting up your recording screen, there are additional features you can enable before your actual screencast. The horizontal toolbar at the bottom right of your screen allows you to turn on your webcam, microphone, and system audio. If your microphone is on, you can also click the gear icon and enable noise reduction for cleaner audio. 
While on the vertical toolbar, you can enable the keystroke feature, which allows you to record all keyboard activity or simply capture the shortcut keys you may press. You can also include additional mouse cursor effects if you prefer. When everything is ready, click the record button to finally start recording your screen. Please note that if you're using the free trial version, you can only record your screen for seven minutes and the output video will have a watermark. While recording, you can also click the pencil button on the horizontal toolbar to doodle or add shapes to highlight areas of your screen for your viewers. If you're done recording, just click the stop button on the toolbar or go to the system tray. Right click the Movavi icon and select stop recording. A separate window for your screencast will automatically open. Here you can create some necessary edits such as making a cut, capturing a specific frame, or advanced editing using the Movavi video editor. If you want to save it immediately, click the export button. Then rename the file, modify the destination folder, change the format, or adjust the quality to your liking. Once you're done, click the save button to start the export. When the file is exported, click the Show in Folder button to view the video directly where you saved it. And that's it! If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye!